games in NeoVim, okay? You already know NeoVim is an amazing editor, but did you know you can also play games directly in NeoVim? Maybe you've been coding all morning. Am I getting hit with an AI read? Are we getting hit with an AI reading, girl? The voice sounds too, like, it's too mediocre. This can't be a real voice, right? You know what I mean? AI voices, it's just like the absolute middle of everything. Tip for you, okay? It's Coding Unicorn. I heard she's a great coder. Coding Unicorn. She's like a staff engineer at Coinbase or something, right? And just need a short gaming break. Or maybe you just finished a huge refactor and need to clear your mind before you dive into the next task. I'm about to- People that own anonymous masks and would film themselves programming in it, I just want to slap them, okay? It's not, it's not like, it's not cool, okay? You're not a hacker. You just live in your mom's basement. There's a big difference. There's a big difference between living in your mom's basement and being a hacker that lives in your mom's basement. To show you 10 games that you can play directly in NeoVim without ever leaving the editor. Okay. If you want to follow along, all of the links are in the show notes. First on the list is the legendary Tetris, originally created in 1985 by Alexei Pajitnov. I had a lot of- Pajitnov. It is I, Alexei Pajitnov. It is not the original Tetris song so good, but me personally, I didn't like the original one. I would actually do, I believe, music C on the NES. It was so good. It was so good. Fun playing this NeoVim port of Tetris. My only real complaint is... Oh, Harpoon mentioned! Let's go! Let's go, Harpoon mentioned! Let's go, let's go! Yes! You can't, you can't, you cannot make, you can't make that up! You can't make that up! Let's go! Love this guy. And the API, by the way, if you're gonna make videos, just like, just a little fun fact, just like a little something, nerd signals, use your voice. You know, the reality is, is that people love voices and look, hear my voice. My voice sucks, okay? I have a cartoon voice, okay? I have some sort of Rick and Morty, Michael Scott, Gilbert Godfrey, Charlie Day voice going on here where I get excited. And you know what? It's okay. All right, not all of us sound like Thor. Thor sounds magnificent. Oh, hello, it is I, Thor. <laughs> right, like I... I, 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 I mean, I, I even laugh like a dork, right? Like, it just doesn't even work out for me. Despite this version being developed specifically for NeoVim, That's the actually developer incredible. chose to use the arrow keys instead of HJKL, and there isn't any option to override the key mappings. As a homework assignment, you should be able to easily do that. That doesn't sound very hard. Assignment. Feel free to open a pull request to this repo and update the key bindings to be more Vim like. Well, that was a terrible placement. Can we all agree? This was a terrible placement. This is a terrible placement. Terrible. If he would have put it over here, he would have still maintained another, the orange L's. He could have had a blue L. He could have also had a square. Like, so many options were going on. This just effing things up right now. Next up is a game that will actually improve your Vim skills. Vim Be Good is a game developed by the legend himself that helps players learn Vim motions. Let's go! Let's you can go. learn a number of motions, from basic movements to changing bracket-wrapped functions. Whether you are new to NeoVim or just want to brush up on your motions, try this game today. That. You should all be familiar with this next game. For a coding break that is both challenging... Pre-watched, pre-awesome, pre-great, Harpoon mentioned again, suck it. ...and nostalgic, try this port of the classic Windows game, Minesweeper. I'm choosing to pronounce this version NVim Sweeper because, quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with the extra E, but no matter what, you can enjoy the expl- What do you do with the extra E? Envimes sweeper? Like, uh, yeah, Envim sweeper is better. Explosive fun of Minesweeper. Go back, please. Okay, I heard myself. I got mentioned. I, I see that. But it's just like my head, right? Vim Be Good is a game developed yeah, by the like legend this. himself I, that yeah. helps players learn Vim- Shut- Shut up! Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with the extra E, but I'm no matter either. what, you can enjoy the explosive fun of Minesweeper without ever leaving NeoVim. Shenzhen Solitaire seems like it could be a lot of fun, but I couldn't seem to get the game to work properly. <laughs> I left it on the list because I assume I'm doing something wrong, and maybe one of you can get it working. Nice. Leave me a comment nice. below if you manage to figure out what I'm doing wrong. If, like me, you miss playing Snake on your Nokia 3310, then look no further. This port Let's for go. NeoVim is just as fun as the original, and you Let's don't even go. need to leave your editor. Your coding breaks just got a lot more addictive. This Sudoku oh, game sharp. Oh, interesting. They got. Th there's one thing that's kind of frustrating about it is that vertical space is so much larger than horizontal space. They need to make it so that when you go downwards, you have to proportionally slow down the snake when you're going downwards. 
This Sudoku game sharpens your mind and adds Sudoku is stupid. twist to your Pomodoros. So, if you're ready to elevate your mental agility while staying firmly rooted in F your Sudoku, enjoy this nice little gem. F your Sudoku. If you've never heard of killer sheep, you're not alone. I mean, why are the sheep so angry, and just what are they shooting out of their rear end? Nevertheless, I had a blast splatting sheep against the backdrop of my NeoVim editor. Take a moment to shuffle the digital deck That's and engage good. in a quick that round of blackjack good. right- That was like Battletoads. I liked it. Right from your favorite editor. Play some blackjack during a coding break to add a refreshing cognitive challenge. Who knows, perhaps brushing up on your blackjack skills might just be the winning hand your next coding session needs. This- I hate blackjack. This tower defense game transforms boring coding breaks into thrilling strategy sessions, offering a perfect blend of entertainment and skill for the coding enthusiast. Get ready to fortify your code and fend off the digital invaders in this innovative tower defense adventure all from within NeoVim. Is that a, that's a wave defense, isn't it? That was a wave, that's not a TD, that was a wave defense. I have actually been wanting to make a tower defense game on NeoVim for quite some time. I would actually like to consider doing that. One of the many things that I have on my little, my little docket. APM though, APM is required. That was a survivor With wave this defense. next yeah. game, you can seamlessly transition from coding to chess, engaging in a challenging mental duel Ew. without leaving your coding environment. It's not just about pieces on a board, it's about outsmarting your opponents and refining your strategic thinking. Yeah. So I if like you're chess. ready to elevate your breaks with a touch of classic strategy, try this game against real chess. players online. I've it also added a new branch called Games to my NeoVim starter kit. Where's so you Doom? can pull this branch if you don't want to configure all of the plugins yourself. I bet someone can You can find you. the link in the show notes. For additional NeoVim resources, you can check out my NeoVim playlist on YouTube, here or in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe to see more great NeoVim videos like this in the future. I don't know, that was kind of cool. I didn't realize how many games... Nothing makes me more excited than thinking about making a game. Nothing makes me less excited than making a game. Do you know that there has been multiple well-formed studies that indicate that Tetris substantially increases various cognitive abilities and reduces anxiety? Then why do I get Tetris nightmares? Explain to me that. Juno, if, if, if Tetris was so good for me mentally, why do, I, why do I turn into an anxious mess when it comes to that? What is with Tetris? What part of Tetris causes is that thing that happens where in your mind's eye in the evening all of a sudden you lay down and it's just like you start seeing the pieces falling and they're falling in no sort of order and it's just like they're not making any sense and they just keep on coming down it's literally like a form of purgatory i don't know what happened with tetris i don't know why tetris causes this in your brain but for whatever reason tetris just it just keeps on going and then yeah then the worst part is you start seeing things that like can't be a tetris shape why is there a hole the tetris nightmares are literally your brain building new neural pathways it's documented check out the wikipedia article oh now now i'm supposed to believe wikipedia yeah right the name is I probably will start playing Tetris if I want that brain skills. Maybe I do want those brain skills. Maybe that is why I was smart during college is because I played so much Tetris I got nightmares. A gen?